In Excel, sorting helps in arranging data in ascending and descending order. If I sort data by keeping my cursor in first column, it will sort data by rows based on this first column. And we don't have direct option to sort data by columns. In this video, we'll discuss how we can sort data by columns. And I'm going to show you three different approach to sort data by column. And in the last, I will give you a pro tip to sort columns customizely. So don't forget to watch the video till the end. Let's see this in action now. Let's discuss the first approach. Here is my data. My headers are in first row and following rows is my data values. If I keep my cursor in second column and if I sort this data, it will sort data by rows. And to sort data to this headers, what we can do here is we can transpose this data. So let's transpose this data, select the data, copy and press Alt ES to open the paste spatial dialog box. Now here select the transpose and click OK. Now it will transpose our data in a vertical. If you see my original data, my headers are in first row and when I transpose my data, my headers are showing in first column. Now we can sort data based on this first column which will sort these headers in ascending or descending order. So let's add some dummy headers to this. You can add any value. Now what we can do is we can keep our cursor in first column and navigate to the data menu and select this ascending sort ascending option. If you want to sort by descending, you can choose Z2A option here. So in this case, I'm sorting my data in ascending order. Let's click on A to Z. So once I click on it, it will sort my data based on this first column in ascending order. Now my data are sorted in ascending order based on this first column. Next, what we can do is we can copy this data and transpose back. Let's copy this. Press Alt ES to activate the paste special dialog box and again select here transpose and click on OK. It will transpose back your data and also and also it will sort your headers in ascending order. So what we have done here is the original data we have transposed and sorted based on the first column and again we have transposed back our data in an original state with the headers are in ascending order. And the drawback of this approach is every time you have to transpose, sort it and transpose back. So every time you have to do this steps. Now let's discuss the second approach. The second approach is same like a pre the first approach. What we have done in first approach, we have transposed the data manually. We sort it and we transpose back. In second approach, we'll do the same steps but using a formulas. So I'm using a Office 365 and Office 365 comes with dynamic arrays functionality. So what we can do here is we can transpose our data using a transpose function here. So let's enter the transpose function here equal to transpose. So what transpose function will do converts a vertical range of cells to a horizontal range or vice versa. So my data is in horizontal. When we transpose it will transpose in vertical. Let's select this transpose bracket open and it has only one parameter which is an array. So array means range of cells. Let's select this data which we want to transpose and close the bracket and press enter. So it will transpose our data vertically and in my original data my headers are in first row and when we transpose my headers are showing in 
first column so what we can do here is we can sort based on this first column and here no need to add any dummy headers like we have done in first approach so here what we can do here is we can wrap this transpose function with sort function and sort is a new dynamic array function so let's add the sort function here bracket open and the first parameter is array array means range of cells the data whichever whatever data comes from this transpose that data is my array put it comma here and the second parameter is sort index so based on which column you want to sort your data so i want to sort my data based on this first column let's enter one here and put comma and the third parameter is sort order in which order you want to sort this data so i want to sort this data by ascending let's select the first option here and close the bracket and if you want to sort data by descending then you can select this descending option so in my case i want to sort my data in ascending so let's select the ascending here and close the bracket and press enter now you can see your headers are sorted in ascending order this is a very cool feature in office 365 the next we have to transpose back this data to our original state so here what we can do we can add a one more transpose function on top of this sort function so let's enter the transpose here and close the bracket and press enter now it will transpose back your data in original state and this is a dynamic like this you can sort your data by column by using a transpose and sort function let's understand what this function is doing here is my original data and i use the transpose function to transpose my data in vertical when i apply the transpose function it will sort data in a vertical and on top of it i apply the sort function to sort data by rows based on first column and again i use the transpose function to transpose back my data into a original state so like this you can combine this function to transpose data by column in excel now let's discuss the third approach which is very easy to use and by just a couple of clicks we can sort columns rows will sort based on column and columns will sort based on rows and i want to sort columns and my headers are in first row and all we have to do is select the data go to the data menu and click on custom sort option you can use same option from home menu also navigate to home menu click on sort and filter and select custom sort or you can use keyboard shortcut alt d s to open custom sort now here click on option under orientation by default sort top to bottom option will be enabled and to sort column select left to right and click on okay next under sort by select row 1 and you have to make sure to select the correct row number where your headers are placed in my case my headers are in row 1 let's select the row 1 select the order i want to sort in ascending order let's select a to z and click on okay you can see headers are sorted in ascending order this is the easiest way to sort data by columns not only this you can sort headers by color also let's hide that few columns here with yellow color so i'm highlighting discount i'm highlighting month name and i'm highlighting sales 
Now I have three highlighted columns in yellow color and I want this highlighted columns to be sort. And all we have to do is select the data, press RDS to open custom sort and click on option, select left to right and click on OK. And under sort by select row 1 and under sort on select cell color. It means you want to sort headers by cell color. And under order by select the color which you want to sort. In this case we want to sort by yellow color. Let's select yellow color from here. And select the option where you want to place the highlighted columns. In this case we want to place in the beginning. Let's select on left. And click on OK. Now you can see our headers are sorted by color. This is the easiest way to sort data by columns. With the help of custom sort, you can sort data by columns. You can sort your headers by colors. You can sort headers by font color also. And this is the very straightforward option we have in Excel to sort data by columns. Now it's time for pro tip. So far we sorted columns in ascending or descending order or by cell color. What if you want custom column order? Meaning we want this column to be placed first, this column to be placed second and this column to be placed third and so on. Here I will show you a trick to do custom column sorting. All we have to do is add an empty row on top of your header and do a numbering on your headers. I want this column to be placed first. Let's enter 1 here. I want this column to be placed second. Let's enter 2 here. I want this column to be placed third. Let's enter 3 here. Like this you can do a numbering to rest of the headers. Like this, you can do numbering. Next, select the data, press Alt DS to open custom sort. Click on option, select left to right and click OK. And under sort by, select row 1 as we want to sort based on first row. Under order by, select smallest to largest and click on OK. You can see our data is sorted in a custom order. Like this you can sort data by columns in Excel. I hope this video helps you on column sorting in Excel. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching.